he did his last operation. But the idea of using surgery to control behavior was now so seductive that far from dying with him, it gained momentum. During the Cold War, mind control became an active area of research. Brainwashing proved to be a blunt tool, but brain surgery offered a more focused result. In the mid-1960s, a procedure developed by Dr. Jose Delgado took psychosurgery to a whole new level. I was continually thinking about the brain, about the possibility to do research, about the possibility to go inside, in the depth of the brain. Rather than cutting things out of the brain, as Walter Freeman had done, Delgado decided the best thing to do was to insert something into the brain. At Yale, Delgado became fascinated by the idea that electrodes implanted in animals' brains could control aggressive behavior. In the summer of 1964, to perform a truly audacious stunt, he chose not a rat, nor a mouse, but a bull. The owner, he said, well, you can do that with cats and monkeys. You can do that with bulls, can you? Well, I don't know. Let's try. Would you allow me to place electrodes in one of your brain bulls? Sure, do that, no problem. But you will not be able to pacify him. I don't know, maybe not. Let's try. Dr. Delgado really did intend to stop an animal specially bred to be aggressive in its tracks. This footage shows Dr. Delgado in action. We anesthetized the animal. There we implanted electrodes in the head. Well, next day, the bull was normal. Then the bull was just going around, charging against anybody who could be in the war ring. It's not completely normal. Then I thought, well, I know a little about bullfighting, so I'm going to test this by myself. Delgado leapt into the ring with an extremely dangerous animal, armed with nothing but a remote control. He was betting his life that this would work. The animal was a few feet away. I push a button in the radio simulator, and the animal really stopped completely. It was, was frightening, was a, was a, but it was an experiment. And so, when the experiment was over, the bull was in very good health, and I was in a very good health also. So, no problem. Jose Delgado was jubilant and saw the success of his experiment as just the beginning. That took us to another big step. If electrodes implanted in animals are possible, can we implant electrodes in the human brain? To many people, this vision of brain manipulation was not thrilling. It was downright terrifying. It presented a nightmarish future where anyone who threatened the state could be controlled. Far-fetched? Well, in 1970, researchers from Harvard Medical School suggested using psychosurgery on black rioters, while others suggested putting implants into gay men to turn them straight. Ethical approval proved impossible. Funding for brain implant research fizzled out. But the story of implants wasn't over. 
some of the things they talked about doing were utterly 